All right, troops, and welcome to another video. Today is match day for the charity match, and I'm with your boy, Roar. What's up, guys? <laughs> yes, stay house me here. Let's go, man. These will all be coming here in the next few hours. Are you excited, my man? I'm excited. Are you excited, I'm mate? I'm excited, mate. I'm excited. This is awesome. I finally get to come in here, play some games. So, all the way for Ayrshire, all the way for Aberdeen, we've we're trekking. We're trekking, man. We've just been walking everywhere. Again. We don't get I mean, bus. We don't get taxis. Been kicking We've been kicking about. walking for hours, man. I've been kicking about this big bag on my back. <laughs> Laptop. This is my warm up. <laughs> Boots. But I, um, it's a bit early, it's so like half 11 now. Yeah, now. a bit early, mate. Kick off at, at 3 o'clock. Uh, main man, Batch, Batch, he wanted us to be uh, at the stadium for half 12. Start for, doing some for, poses, uh, pictures. Are we two and a half, two and a half hour <laughs> warm up? Look, I think he just wants to do some pictures, oh, yeah, he? Yeah. he just wants to get lots of team just, pictures. It's just batch in it, but um, here's a car going by. What are you doing? Hey, uh, what are they recording? <laughs> Outside our local. <laughs> by uh, Aquaview Park, one of the most uh, renowned stadiums in Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Who's, who's this? It's a dad club we're on about. Who's that all about, man? Some grey hills oh, in there. I forgot you. There's some grey hills <laughs> in there still. Feeling tank the day, mate. No, I mean, I, just, I, would, I would go light, know what I mean? Oh, yeah, I'd yeah. have flip flops on in that as well, but I didn't want to kick about with flip flops. Hopefully, we're this at the end of the match. This and all. Man in the match. I know who'll get man in the match. <laughs> so lads, we have uh, been and done match day for the charity match. You saw the, the kind of behind the scenes at the start of the video. I didn't really do too much. Uh, I didn't really get to record that much. But we are now going to react to well, the general performance of the team and my, my performance, my bits of the game. So before we get into the game, I was playing centre back with main man Razbowski, Lewis was in nets, left back Darren, right back Grant, three C D three centre mids were Dev, Cruza and Batchy, right wing Marley, left wing Gogs and up front CJ Novo. The five subs was Robbie, Batchy's brother, Ryan 118, Big Mooney, S Roar and Mark, Marley's little brother. So let's get into the game. So obviously it's us walking out the tunnel and a decent decent it was good good uh Transitions and graphics by Batchy. He spent like the reason this is up on on the Fridays because generally it took ages for Batchy. No, I'm not I'm not slagging Batchy saying it took ages for him to do it, but it took him so long to do all the all the transitions and all that, all the replays, all that kind of stuff. So shout out to Batchy. Put so much so much time into making this event happen and this video. It was shout out to Batchy. It was amazing uh, for doing this. Thanks for having me involved. But there I am next to Sharp Dev. Sharp Dev uh, looked at me in the just laughed when the camera went by us because both of us actually uh, winked at the camera so they yeah, were just laughing about that but into the game now Steny with kickoff if you don't know it was a kind of Stenhouse Muir community team like over 35s and coaches and uh, I heard their their chairman was actually playing I'm not sure if he was and yeah Steny actually had an early chance here uh, 45 seconds in it got deflected off me and went out so yeah, that was, oh, that was my first block of the game. And there's Grant and the grafter in with that big boy tackle. He said before the game he was going to get one and he got it. But there with the header on, CJ Nova headers it up in, onto himself and he gets absolutely taken out by number five. And he actually got a concussion and a broken nose from that. The worst thing about it is he didn't even get a free kick. Look at this, the ref played a drop ball. I mean, fair enough, they kicked it back to us, but... It's a free kick. He's literally elbowed him in the face. Now Steny actually had a decent chance here. Uh, the player cut inside. Gives it into their man and has a shot. But Lewis with a pretty comfortable save. That was his first decent save of, of the match. And shout out to Lewis. Lewis is a, a great keeper. As you can see there with the kick up. And CJ wins a flick on. On to Div. Div gets a bit lucky. But he gets his goal. And that's us 1-0 up in the 14th minute. And... Yeah, you'll see a replay of this because it's a bit hard to see. I'll try and zoom in and out of all the stuff so it makes it easier to see. But CJ with the flick on and Dev runs onto it. Times his run well. Gambles that he's going to win it. That's a like 
from that goal. Did have gambled CJ was going to win it. Going to go over the defender. He ran onto it. And the keeper actually was unlucky. Made a decent save, but fell right back to Div and he tapped it in to make it 1 0. But here, in the, just two minutes later, I got the luck of the bounce and I thought I was going on a wee run because I don't usually play centre back. Usually, when I play football, I play winger or striker or centre mid. So I know I can go on a wee run or two. But Marley kept up on the volley and hit that back post. CJ, I think it was Gogsy actually. He hit it and it went wide. So. That could have been a really good goal. Our big mistake there from the defence, Darren and Raz, they get a cross in, gets back post, and there's big boy skills at the back post to clear it off the line. And yeah, um, I, I just saw it, saw it go back and I just thought I'd go in the line. And for the right reason, of course, to clear it off the line. <laughs> that was kind of when Darren, uh, it is, well, you can see he doesn't play football. It's only his third ever alumni side match. But he is good, he, what, he did play well, but you can tell a usual defender wouldn't let it bounce, whereas he let it bounce and then obviously they almost scored from it. So num like, one of the rules of, the, of being a defender, if a goal kick comes over, you don't let it bounce. And yeah, Darren let it bounce. So Darren there actually got put in a headlock and a free kick got given against him. Like, how does that work? How? What? Lewis there, we had big boy save for, for a free kick. From actually my free kick that I gave away, just... It was, it was never a free kick. And then there I had, a, I had another decent block in from one of the shots. Um, yeah, it was a decent block. But we win the ball back there. Cruiser wins it, gives it on to Div. Div actually with a few ball rolls in that. Tries to give it to Marley, should have shot. And then he gives it on to Marley eventually. Marley has a shot, keeper saves it. And Big Mooney get there at the back post. Big Mooney should have been there at the back post on his toes. But it wasn't, went out for a corner. Decent save for the keeper, a bit dodgy. Could have went under him and went in, but he didn't. Keeper saved it. Here is the the main bit of the match. Cruiser picks up the ball in midfield, keeps on running with it, and then he just hits it or crosses it or whatever, and it dips the keeper and goes in. It was unreal. I genuinely couldn't believe it. I run for centre back. Like there I am there, number twelve, and yeah, I just oh I just couldn't believe it was Cruiser. Just it just had to be Cruiser to score a goal like that. He, he actually scored and just turned around and went. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think he could believe it either. <laughs> it's, it's just, it was just very funny, man. Last half time, and we're going to the break two 0 up. And I was sitting in the change room, and I was just like, surely we can't even mark this up. Like, it's, it's up to us to win it. If Stenhouse Muir win it, nobody wants Stenhouse Muir to win it, because um, we're the only YouTube team. Right, if there's two YouTube teams, then maybe they want Arton to win. But we were the only YouTube team, so I was like. We can't lose a 2-0 lead, we can't muck this up. They actually had a good chance 10 minutes into the half and Lewis with a great save. I don't know what Raz was doing, but uh, yeah, he shouldn't. He should have tried to head or, or he should have tried to stick to his man. And our slide tackle for me, and the, right, I'm going to admit this, in the second half I wasn't as solid, I was I had a few dodgy moments, but just like there, I had a dodgy moment. I didn't have as many good moments and as I did in the first half. But I did have a lot more slide tackles. Where I do think I did kind of put that guy off. Um, which then obviously led to Lewis making the save. And then Danny, who lost the ball for Steny, then uh, got then lost the ball. We go in the attack. Gogsy gets it to CJ. CJ runs through their centre back and slots that into the back of the net. 3-0. And that went from Lewis making an incredible save, saving me from losing the ball in defence, to us making it 3-0. So... Yeah, it could have been 2-1, but within a minute, it went on to be 3-0 to us. So, that, I was so relieved at that. Um, that was like my first first mistake in the match. Not first mistake, first big mistake in the match. And it almost led to a goal. But I'm glad that we've got a keeper back there like Lewis to make that kind of save. And then obviously, give that up to CJ and he done the rest. Then 64th minute, two minutes after our third goal. Div whips in a beauty of a cross and Gogsy gets on the end of it. No one runs with him and it's 4 0 to us now. And at this point, I was just like, yes, we, we will actually win this. Because <laughs> the first 20 minutes, right, although we've scored two goals, the first 20 25 minutes, they pounded us. Like, I'm not going to lie, they, they proper just pounded us. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was because they brought on their better players at half time. They, they played a more older team in the first half. They brought on three or four decent players in the second half and it showed that they were a bit better. They were a lot faster. Our, the defence had a lot more to deal with. So 
Yeah, it showed, but we dealt with it well. And Danny, I like this year, as Grant took him out, and then I come in and take him out. He, he, the ref gave a free kick against Grant, but I was a... Uh, yeah, nobody likes Danny, number 14 for Stenhouse Muir. Nobody likes him. You'll see why, but nobody really liked him before this match anyway. But Stenhouse Muir actually having an attack here, down the wing, and they put that one in back post. Me with a terrible clearance, I give it straight to their guy. That was my second big mistake. And yet again, Lewis saves it. Lewis saved my back twice, big time in this game. Mark here, absolute does like three of their players, including Danny. Danny then picks the ball up after fouling him like twice, throws the ball, pretends to throw the ball in his face, then does it again. And it's just like, mate, sit down, you're embarrassing yourself. It's a charity match, you're embarrassing yourself. You're embarrassing yourself. You stop. Like, he absolutely done you with, like, he skint you, went back, skint you again, went back, skint you again, he done you. And then just with 10 minutes left, we go up the park, CJ gets his second assist of the game and goes on, gives it to Gogsy. Gogsy, what a finish. Uh, I, I did not think, I, I think Gogsy would have finished it, but not as well as that. He proper put it roof of the net. Um, I think he was maybe surprised about how well he finished it, but it was a good finish and yeah, that was the second of the game. So five now we're up now. Then straight from kickoff, like they literally, a couple passes later, I dived in there. In fact, no, yeah, that was me, that was me that dived in. And then uh, they literally just go forward, sweat it and get a tap in. Lewis was annoyed he lost a clean sheet. Um, their goal was bound to come. They should have scored a couple. I didn't, I didn't put in a lot of their chances into this video. A couple of their half chances, because I'm talking about my team and my performance, not their team. So, it was only a couple of half chances they had. I took out their player there, that was quite cool. <laughs> but yeah, um, only a couple of half chances they had. They could have scored though. That was the main thing. Uh, the chances they did put in, that were good chances they I did put in. But Raz actually got his foot stamped on there, and then he came in and just wiped the man out, and took out, I think, Dar is that Darren as well? He just completely wiped them out. But with Lewis, one last kick of the ball, punts that one forwards, and there it is, 5-1, full time. Scottish YouTubers are the S Scottish YouTuber charity match champions, is that what we're calling it? But yeah, 5-1, Dev, Cruza, CJ, and Gogsy with two. Uh, it was a good day, 5-1 we won, good game, I thought I played well, apart from a few dodgy moments in the second half, um, my goal length clearance obviously probably been the highlight, because that's, that's that's as good as a goal, if I didn't clear that it would have been one each, so yeah, but the whole team put in a great shift, and I just want to say this is hopefully the beginning for many things to come of the Scottish YouTube community. Um, there's obviously not a lot to do, or a lot happening within the Scottish YouTube community, so this probably the biggest charity event for YouTube, uh, Scottish YouTube. So um, we're hoping to carry on from this and build off of this. And yeah, hopefully we've got bigger things to come in the future. But I just want to say shout out to everyone involved. Shout out to all the players I'll put a shift in. Shout out to um, Batchy for putting hours and hours of putting of organisation putting into this. Uh, and for having me on the team. That was great from Batchy. And also... Uh, I want to wish Big Gary well, he's actually in the hospital, I think at the time of recording this, so uh, I want to wish him well, because he's not, I don't think he's doing too great, um, he is actually in that video, he was the one that entertained the crowd at half time, so wish him well, I uh, hope you get better Gary, and then also thank you to the sponsors, thank you to everyone that came out to watch, so I'm about 200 or 250 people watching, which is great, biggest crowd I've ever performed in front of, which um, it's a new experience, and yeah, we did raise over three grand for charities for Sam H and for Stenhouse Muir community. It's not confirmed yet the, the the price, but or the 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 amount we've raised, but it is around three grand. So that's great to be a part of. Um, I do hope to be a part of many of these new events and big things to come. And also, I just want to say uh, that this whole experience has been great in the sense that. I didn't really know any other Scottish YouTubers and I have essentially just made like 14 or 15 new friends, some some of them I've gotten really close to and yeah, so it's also good in that sense. So yeah, sh cheers to all the guys who was playing because they made the experience that whole much better. But that's going to be the end of the video. If you did like it, please do leave a like. Everyone's links in the description. It's going to take a while to put everyone's links in. But... Um, yeah, I'll, I'll get it done. So yeah, leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.